think about what you were thinking about with Michael B. Beckwith. This was a flashback Friday from Agape Archives, hashtag Agape, Agape Archives. Um, just wanted to test my microphone as well as my ability to record. Um, this is a, a beautiful excerpt. Basically, uh, here's the description of it. It says, the future self wants to bloom in you. It wants to be conscious in you as its own life. By, apply, by applying spiritual practice, you choose the lessons you step into and from what perspective. Choose grace. This is exerted again from uh, February the 12th, 2017, 9 a.m. Sunday service. And today is December 16th, 2022 on a uh, Friday. And I just wanted to say that this is that future self that wanted to bloom um, two days before Valentine's Day uh, five years ago. And so as I see that, man, <laughs> this is beautiful. As I see time as that which melts, uh, and it uses con uh, YouTube as this conduit, there's no, there's no melting pot. The pot does not melt. Um, remember, we used to say the, the pot calling the kettle black. Black to me means a lack of knowledge or a lack of light in a particular area. So to be enlightened means that the light is shining from within. Um, so the Michael Beck, Beckwith of 2017 meets the Valerie, the Go Ask Val of 2022. And it is for such a time as this. This has 723 views so far. And this was 12 hours ago which is considered um, a half a day, but where I'm sitting, the evening and the morning becomes a day. So this is the evening time, it's 17.10, and this was done, uh, again, according to YouTube, 12 hours ago. So this was done around 7.10. Um, and so even the time, if it, let's just say, you know, the round to this number, 723, 723 views, um, gave it a thumbs up out of, um, out of 723 views, you have 85 thumbs up. I would like to see our participation when we can. I know some people do not have the, uh, depending on their device, does not have access to the thumbs up, but to me, Thumbing something up is showing your agreement. It is showing your pillar. Um, and I wish there was a button that actually shows two thumbs up. Uh, but I do appreciate and understand the thumbs up and thumbs down, uh, which is the 69 to me, uh, which is the sign of the Cancerian. It is our generation. Uh, this particular clip is seven minutes and 54 seconds and for you numerology lovers um five plus four is nine and the seven and nine at that point is again my birthday if you do know me july 9th 1969 being the cancer so uh i believe this is once again for me this is part of that synchronicity um the title says think about what you are thinking about and he never uses that phrase i want to personally start using phrases uh, that are within the title uh, to make sure that I drive home my point. Uh, but he basically, again, is talking about uh, squeezing fear out of your life, observing that fear exists, but that it is dissolving because as you observe it in the quantum field, then you raise its vibration. So what I hear uh, five years later, as it travels through the radio waves, through the airwaves, is that everything wants to be noticed and acknowledged, even fear. 
And so fear will dissolve when fear is acknowledged as a thing. Um, to me, a fear is a circle, a bubble. We all have our spheres of influence. And when we step outside of our bubble, we are no longer in that bubble or sphere. And that's what you call busting your bur bursting your bubble. But think about what you are thinking about. Um, it says to observe that you have thoughts, but that you are not your thoughts. Now, that goes a bit contrary to the saying that as a man thinketh uh, in his heart, the Bible says so is he. But some people say as a man thinketh, that is what you are. So there is space between what you think about and what you are. That is where the power um is between now and the future because it basically says if I don't like what I've been thinking I need to change that because I am going to turn into that which I think about what you think about enough you're going to talk about it you're going to give it life so we speak on those things that we wish as he did express fully in this um, excerpt I am that I am and everyone cannot say this um, everyone does not practice that kind of speech I am that I am we also know that the I am not giving uh, necessarily inserting a particular word there is basically saying I am that which is eternal I can forever speak on that which I am. I am mother. I am father. I am sister. I am brother. I am rich. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. I am joyous. I am at peace. I am righteous. I am thorough. Uh, these are my I ams. And so that's what I think about. I think about prosperity. I think about wealth. I think about going to the store to buy healthy food. I think about um, speaking to people in audiences as well as one-on-one. -on -one. I think about Zoom meetings. I think about meeting people. I think about going into people's houses and feeling honored that they would allow me to cross their threshold and to help them to clear stagnant energy. I think about my island that island that I will live on I think about my children's smiles when they realize how awesome God has made their mother to be. Uh, I think about my legacy. I think about my ancestors. I think about all that I've gone through to get to this point. So to think about those things, to magnify what I think about, then to take it further is to record, to publish, to take it further is to write about it. And the word thinking is thin king, but also inking, to, to ink it, to write it down. Uh, a, a king declares uh, things with the mighty sword or the mighty pen. And so as a writer, I see myself as uh, one that inks as a scribe. So... I appreciate Michael Bernard Beckwith as another aspect of myself, as someone to memory me, to think of me in his, um, I'll call it all a log, like a monologue, but an all a log because he is uh, inclusive of all that is good, all that is present and all that is past and future. And he talks about uh, having a panoramic view. He didn't use that word, but that's the word that comes to mind is to see the past, the present, and the future all at the same time. Uh, that was the thought I had earlier today of uh, circulating the north, south, east, and west, but not just in the order in which we have been given it in the news, north, east, west, and south but also south, east, west, and north. So sown, that which we have sown, we are reaping. And so I am reaping the fruits of my 
spelling labor, of my communication labor, and you, my listener and my watcher, are my reward. Um, and I regard you as another aspect of myself, as well as um, regarding, which also means to protect, to protect again. He is his own protection. He has his own team. But I come to acknowledge him as a soul that needs my protection. So that's when we hug one another, we are literally covering each other's heart at the same time. Uh, that is the embrace. So I welcome, and that word literally has in it well, 